It's ecological urbanization studies in Okan University, and we are mostly uh, concentrated on um, ecological building design uh, in uh, studio and in article. We are going to make the theory of it, and Ahmed Al Fakih will mention you about ecological high-rise buildings in hot climate. Hello, Ahmed. Hello, my name is Ahmed, and uh, my article is about uh, ecological high-rise building in hot climate. And that strikes us about uh, with the first uh, development of uh, urbanization, there are more and more high-rise buildings uh, in the cities. Meanwhile, the native impact of high-rise building on the uh, urban uh, environment have become more and more serious. The ecological design of high-rise building should be paid more attention because, uh, as we know, the high-rise building uh, consumes uh, a large uh, amount of natural resources and energy. Good. And this paper address of uh, important of ecological design method uh, of high-rise building in hot climate. And, uh, along with the development of industry, uh, commerce and uh, finance and uh, rapid increase of cities, population, land reach. In 1952, uh, the labor hall designed by Jordan Benchard uh, who working on some design and the ability of efficiency of country uh, or city. And the same architect, he do another uh, he do another uh, building, but uh, like ecological high-rise building in Jeddah, and uh, in 1982, the, na uh, the National uh, Commercial Bank uh, it's uh, maximized the benefit of using local available resource. The sun has uh, a free sources of energy. Water can the water can be used with uh, wind as another uh, sources of uh, energy. Planet life be used as uh, in, my, in my project. I do like uh, mm -hmm. I do like uh, ecological uh, ecological strategies in my project, and uh, the first one it's the, the vertical landscape Good. is a living garden, not just uh, for uh, wild planet, but also for indoor and outdoor planting in high rise building, Good. bringing up uh, the ground landscape to the sky in commercial uh, to, to recreate uh, the natural condition of uh, the ground in the building. A vertical uh, landscape can absorb air of, uh, potential from the... Uh, I use it in my project because uh, uh, the, water, the water came. I have a vertical uh, uh, courtyard in the middle and the water came from the roof until this point. And from uh, from this uh, facade, it's go around the building to the ground. Okay. And this is the natural ventilation. The, the natural ventilation, reasonable uh, organization of uh, natural ventilation leads to energy saving and cost cutting the energy. And uh, and this is a case study from Sheriff downtown Doha. We have uh, uh, now this time is a uh, 502 that means studio also we uh, take studio as the uh, presentation or application of the theory of 519 and uh, he will continue uh, in the it, it, first the beginning there was a theory now he will explain how he applied his theory to practice to building Ahmed I applied, uh, I take like uh, the, uh, the ecological features and I put it in my building. And the first thing in my building, it's about uh, high rise building, commercial, and the uh, bottom. And this is the heat pump that I use it in my, uh, uh, in my high rise building. It came from the ground, and in the basement, I have like a, like a room. It's only for the for the heat pump and uh, from this room the heat pump go to the ground and go like a, a vertical loop 
until the water be, be warming and go back to the to the high rise building and pump it up to the building to the building and come down again and uh, we use the ventilation the natural ventilation uh, i use like uh, the uh, the horizontal uh, courtyard and vertical courtyard the horizontal co courtyard take the uh, it's uh, collected the air and uh, go from the down and go up to the, ver the vertical uh, courtyard and uh, the ventilation in the the ventilation in the horizontal uh, it help the air to be cooling and go down and the heating water go up to the roof and goes and this is the heat pump like uh, uh, the system we have a uh, domestic hot water storage and heat uh, heat uh, exchanger and hydrochloric pumping uh, and that's it that's this is the vertical loops underground and we have the gray water recycling and rain water recycling it's here as you can see the grey water, this is the system for the grey water recycling. This is the water supply go down and uh, convert the water to the uh, to the to the floor, to the whole floor and after this uh, the water collected from the sinks and showers goes to the to the vertical pumping to the grey water. And uh, at the same time, the rainwater collecting the water by the vertical landscape that uh, I show you, and it's go under the ground and uh, uh, yeah, it's combined because the cells, uh, the cell from the vertical landscape, it's uh, take the water runoff under the ground and it's go again to the filtering with the gray water, and it's go up to the. And this is the plan. Where is it? This is the ground floor. Actually, the ground floor it's uh, it's only like a open uh, shopping mall. This is the coffee. We have the coffee and uh, we have uh, umbrella ab above it. Like this is the pavilion, and the uh, entrances come from it because this is closed uh, area, and uh, people ca came from this place, and this is the entrance because this entrance. It's the main road but, uh, that mean we cannot uh, open it because it's so many traffic. And this is above, this is the uh, level six. As we can see, this is the horizontal uh, uh, courtyard. The air came from it, as, as I show you in the, uh, in the natural ventilation. And this is the level 14, it's closed. It's in the middle, but we have a vertical uh, courtyard. That means the air go up, the hot air go up, and the cold air go down. And uh, this is another one. It's uh, it should be like a garden uh, in the roof, uh, not the roof, the lowest the roof. Mm -hmm. And from this point, the water ca uh, the water came from uh, from the roof from this from this uh, from this place. This is the roof and the water, uh, the water and the vertical landscape go from in the beginning from the roof and the water goes and uh, until this uh, spot. Yeah. And from this, it's go around the building. And 